Time now for another rip-roaring edition of our Daytime Buzz. And joining us are Corey Dillon from Mix 100.7, Anjali Queen B. McGuire from 95.7 The Beat, and Drew Garabo from 102.5 The Bone. Great to have you all Hi guys. here. Nice Yay. to be here. Happy Friday and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, you too. Happy and you. the classy ladies, we're giving you applause. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's get started. All right, you're not going to believe this. An elementary school in St. Paul, Minnesota. I think one of our ladies is from St. Paul. Uh -huh. She, they won't She's the be, one that makes the soup. That's right. <laughs> they won't be celebrating Valentine's Day this year. <gasps> Nor will they be celebrating Christmas, Halloween, or Thanksgiving. Okay. The reason the principal of the school has laid down this anti-holiday law is because he doesn't feel all of these holidays are inclusive of all groups of students that they serve. Mm. Many parents are in an uproar calling the decision very sad, totally ridiculous, but Principal Scott Massini stands by his decision saying, while it's an unpopular one, he feels the need to, quote, discontinue the celebration of the dominant holidays until we can come to a better understanding of how the dominant view will support Press someone else's view. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. What do you think? I mean, I, 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 I find this to be so ridiculous personally. I, I, I've moved from Minneapolis and I'm really disappointed because those are some great memories that he's, I feel like he's taking from the students. If they don't want to participate, they should have the right to opt out. Mm. Uh, if he feels like people don't celebrate Christmas or we don't want to leave out people that celebrate Hanukkah or then why not make it a holiday celebration? Mm -hmm. right. are, these, are, are these kids, kids going to have, have any? done that actually. What's they, that? They, they, they had a sort of a all rounding, all encompassing Good. kind of yeah. celebration of Festivals what? for the rest of us. Of what? They've gotten rid of all the holidays. Well, it was more like a cultural celebration. Mm. Yeah, I think they're of being. What? Well, they're, of they're, all the different cultures. Yeah. The holidays that they are allowed to celebrate would be the legal holidays. Arbor so Day. Sure. That would be yeah. <laughs> Flag Day. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Right. You know, uh, uh, Groundhog Martin Day, Luther that's King, a big one. Martin right. Luther King Day, and I think there was one other one. So, mm. uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about this, but I think it's taking, it's robbing the kids of. Uh, oh, of totally. 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 I mean, what I, what kind of social skills are these kids going to have? Seriously, they don't ha know how to navigate a holiday, a party, any kind of a celebration that we all grew up with. I mean, well, I mean, you deal? still get that at home, hopefully. Well, I mean, that's what uh, I'm know. thinking. I mean, what's the big deal if they don't have Halloween at their school? Right. If they don't have Halloween Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> the fun is the trick-or-treating and the bellyache afterwards. But for <laughs> Valentine's Day, I can see where they would do that because growing up a scrawny, geeky kid who didn't get Valentine's Day, <laughs> oh, it hurt me when the popular kids <laughs> would get them. <laughs> Well, no, because well, most kids buy the pack with the right. 35 cards. Right, so you get them to everybody. Almost exactly. everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nobody choo choo choos me with a train on. Hey, hey, Drew, there's a couch over there. Take, why don't you lay down <laughs> and you. we'll bring Aww. somebody professional. Probably my mom's fault. <laughs> somebody bring me a Valentine. Moving on. <laughs> an Oklahoma public school district is allowing teachers to carry guns in an attempt to keep students safe and send a message that their school district is not an easy target. Mm. Signs were erected on all school grounds in OK, Oklahoma. Oklahoma public <laughs> schools to alert the public of their bold move and ward off potential perpetrators. One sign reads, quote, attention. Please be aware that certain staff members at OK Public Schools can be legally armed and may use whatever force is necessary to protect our students, end quote. So far, well. only one employee has been cleared to actually carry. Yeah, keep in mind, the, 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 the teachers have to go through the proper channels to obtain a gun. It's not that they just, they're handing right. out guns to the right. teachers and saying, OK, shoot, where's your whole pass? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I like, I mean, kids are used to seeing police officers and people in authority uh, that should be carrying guns with guns. I, I honestly, if I was a parent, I don't think I'd have that big of a, a problem with it. I think, great. I, I, that makes me feel better that there is a parent there or a, or a, a staff member there that is armed in case, God forbid, oh, anything happens. What if they put their gun down for a second? Or mm. what if a well, kid gets their the gun? They're not going to do that. I'm telling you, these people that are trained to use weapons like that, the most safety conscious people you have ever come across. Most. I mean, there, there most. is a crisis of someone coming into our schools and shooting our babies. Mm -hmm. So if my child was going to that school, I'd feel a little bit safer that there's someone that's been trained, that's been acclimated properly to handling certain situations, and if need be, to protect those kids. Here, here's why I like it. I like it because, and I, I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this, <laughs> but I like it because of, of the preventative uh, situation that's the happening message. with the signs yeah. out there. So if I were some crazy loon walking up to that school and I saw this huge sign saying, some employees carry guns, I don't think I'd go in there. I'm not sure a crazy uh, loon is going to pay much attention to a right, sign. A crazy they're not loon as rational as you might But I mean, they know that they're gun-free zones. True. I mean, they're, that's where they're going. They're going to schools that are gun-free zones. Yeah.
Mm. They, they don't want the they don't want the adversity. You know what I mean? Right. As long as they're trained properly, I don't have a problem with it because every school, um, to my understanding, can't or doesn't have some kind of officer there. Mm -hmm. uh, some schools do. Some, yeah, some schools are but starting to do that. But for those that don't, so sad we, that we even have to talk about that's having what I was officers. Just that is, this is where we are these or days. But it's a, it's a sad schools. fact of reality. It's really yeah. Sad. Yeah. Metal detectors, teachers yeah. with guns, algebra. Wow. Tree <laughs> on the tree. All right. New research claims the portrayal of gay men in modern films and TV shows is based on unrealistic positive stereotypes. Impossibly glamorous, witty, and fashionable gay characters risk leaving real life gay men lacking self confidence according to this study. Now the study also suggests that stereotypes portrayed on screen may amount to positive prejudice which could damage the well-being of gay men. How do we feel about this? you got to be kidding. Yeah, well, <laughs> well you, know, you know, they have a study for everything. There's right. definitely a stereotype just like the dumb dad there's oh. always there's also the fashionable, funny, witty, gay friend, sure. or the crazy and, next door neighbor. And, 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 right. There are these stereotypes. The emotional TV. women. Yeah. Well, I have gay friends, and they're <laughs> often fashionable <laughs> and witty. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. I mean, if we're still going to TV shows to get our self worth or any kind of uh, you know right. self confidence, you're in trouble already. Yeah. You're in trouble already. True. The, the Don't have TV. I just <laughs> wish the portrayal would sometimes be a little bit more realistic. Yeah, absolutely. Sad gay men, please step up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. but I somebody think, who doesn't dress so well. Right. Or uh, you know, look, the, here, here's what upsets me about this. The fact that so many, and this is not just for, for gay men, but for a lot of characters on television, they are portrayed in a very, very stereotypical way. Sure. The flamboyant, the, you know, right. what happened. Right. There are all kinds of gay people out there. There are all mm -hmm. kinds right. of heterosexual people out there. Right. Now, the, the, the fact that, that in recent times, decades, in fact, the, the gay men have always been portrayed as the you know, flamboyant. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and th I think that is more of a problem than this positive but prejudice it's a that they're talking like, about. It's a sitcom, a situation True. comedy. So there... That's what it's they do. It's a character. I right. think that's, Modern Family that's does a pretty good job. They do a great job. Yeah. They, they do Not, do a good job. Yeah. Cam and, uh, yeah, Cam and his partner and, are very um, great. Yeah. Uh, and but there should be more dark and brooding gay characters on television right. to let them know. Not all of them but are thrilled to the fact the that they don't have to deal with women. Then we'd hear how, how horrible that is and right. how they're, now they're depressed Let's because they're being portrayed that way. Happy and sad gay people, please. I know. I'm gay and I'm sad. I'm not gay. I'm not A new Centers for Disease Control report recommends that women of childbearing age who are sexually active and not using birth control stop drinking alcohol altogether. Mm. The agency's logic is that about half of all American pregnancies are unplanned and many women don't know they're pregnant for the first month or so. Mm. So mm. is this good advice? Will anyone heed this warning? Mm. Will any women say, okay, I'm just going to stop drinking? No, huh. they won't. I mean, it's, no. it's, it's, the bigger picture is you probably should be on birth control uh, if you yeah. are a drunk. Yeah, just <laughs> right. You're, no, you're right. You know, maybe they should hey, be... accidents happen. I guess I know two or, people that ha say they had protected sex, and they have babies. Or if you're trying to get pregnant, don't be drinking during that time. That makes sense. If you're trying to get pregnant, course, but yeah. people get accidentally get pregnant. I would imagine without drinking alcohol. Sure. Yes. I mean, and most people that drink excessive alcohol probably do get pregnant. Right. Yes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, it's a do. joke. Wow. It's a joke. And for me, there's no greater birth control than a drunk woman because yeah. I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want any part of or that. Or a drunk man. Right. Well, hey. <laughs> No performance <laughs> happening now. Shooting blanks or no shooting at all. Hey. <laughs> Not happening. Okay. Wow. Oh, I'm a sad gay <laughs> man. <laughs> On that note. This is family TV. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>